Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I am Jay Carver, as always, playing some $3, $6 heads up, no limit hold'em today on ultimatepoker.com. Yes, online poker from America. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. Uh, I've been playing this guy for maybe about a dozen hands, lost about 150 or so to him, but on Ultimate Poker at 3-6 at least, the buy-in for each table is only 50 big blinds, so uh, we're stuck with 50 for now, but I'm actually okay with that. I kind of actually like that, and I think even if I could buy in for more, I think, I think buying in for half a stack is uh, kind of not the worst thing. You get to kind of feel out your opponent, have a little bit simpler of decisions. And uh, if Phil Ivey does it, can't be that bad. So, uh, actually, quite the opposite, in fact. So, uh, I'm going to take Ace Queen to War here. I think uh, it's pretty normal these days when you have the Ace and the Queen. Uh, yeah, so today is uh, Wednesday, I think. It might be Thursday. I'm going to go with Wednesday. Yes, I was right. It's Wednesday. Uh, I'm not, unfortunately, going to be winning the World Series Poker main event. That it did not happen this year. <laughs> Maybe next year. Uh, ooh, that's a good flop for the 7-8 offsuit. Uh, I never really had a chance on day one. I played a lot of pots and didn't win very many of them. Didn't really... I mean, I tried to do a little bit of, like post-game analysis, and I didn't really come up with anything that I did that I, like, hated. Uh, there were a lot of, like, not a lot. There were some really there were some close decisions that I ended up doing the wrong thing in several times, but I don't look back and think I made too many, like, glaringly terrible mistakes or anything like that. Uh, what to bet? I think 70 sounds, sounds reasonable to me. Clearly not folding. Should he somehow have two pair and have not got it in on the flop, uh, he will be rewarded with $300 for his play. Not this time, though. So, yeah, didn't win the main event. Had a kind of a not great World Series all in all. I, uh, you know, only played like 15 tournaments. And although I don't think I played badly in too many events, a couple I kind of phoned it in. But although I don't think I played too badly overall, I definitely could have played my A game more often. I think uh, I only really probably put my, my A game to work in maybe like half of the events. Uh, flop which would be great. All right, a little delayed and flop thanks to my internet here. Um, so yeah, didn't win, uh, didn't have any great successes in the World Series this year. Didn't play as many events as I was planning on playing. Just kind of got caught up doing other things. One of which was the new location of my <laughs> videos. Not quite the office from my former place in uh, in New York. As you can see, the beautiful skyline of Las Vegas behind me, which isn't really so beautiful, but hey. Uh, the beautiful Aria is behind me, but you can't really see it, but I'm sure I'll one day record a video, one day soon even, record a video at night and then you guys will get to see the, the skyline. But it's kind of nice. I've been enjoying living here. I had to move here for Ultimate Poker, which is not the, the worst thing I've ever had to do. So I've been a Las Vegas resident for maybe like, official Las Vegas resident, for maybe like two weeks now. And it's uh, got some perks, like, I'm not going to lie, kind of sweet. Online poker not being the least of them. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't been familiar with my whole Ultimate Poker thing, Ultimate Poker and I have come to a partnership agreement. Details to be released soon, can't tell you more, even though, you know, they're really cool. But the short of it is, Ultimate Poker and I are in a, in a very committed relationship, and <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about that. Some awesome things coming, including lots of videos, and uh, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of longer videos soon. I've heard you guys say you want more longer videos, so uh, prove it to me by watching <laughs> the 20-minute long videos. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. But yeah, there'll be lots of those coming in the next few weeks. Uh, I am I have a dream that they'll be coming out one a day for the next few weeks, give or take. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just that. But I think I'm going to try to do a series called Run It Up. Yes, like eating cake, run it up, you know. Uh, I think I'm going to do a series like that starting at like maybe maybe the very bottom of No Limit Hold'em. I think the lowest on this on the site is uh, one cent, two cent. 
Uh, well, why not? So maybe I'll start at one cent and two cent and try to see if I can grind it up from there and just keep a, a segregated bankroll in my head. Or I guess we can just keep track, I guess. And uh, going to try to see how that goes. So that should be coming in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. I had an awesome week last week. Ultimate Poker and the UFC sent me to do all the cool fight week stuff. I uh, got to go to the open workouts, the press conference, the weigh-ins, and the fight itself for UFC 162. Absolutely awesome week. I had uh, such a fun time. I met John Anik, Chris Weidman, Chris Weidman's dad, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, actually, Chris Weidman's dad is the, probably one of my favorite stories from the week because I was just hanging out at the weigh-ins. Sick brag, by the way. Yeah, I was just hanging out at the weigh-ins. Uh, I, was ha- I was just hanging out at the bottom of the stage at the weigh-ins, and and uh, I see this guy trying to get accosted by security because he's trying to get through to the to the backstage. And so these guys like, no, sorry, you must have a pass or whatever. And he's like, I'm trying to corner my son. Let me through. <laughs> and uh, and so this guy is not being let in. But I've got passed because I have the ultimate poker patch, which is a wonderful, beautiful thing. And uh, so I'm behind the line. So I go up and I go, uh, Mr. Weidman? And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> So I go, hey, I'm Jason. And then the security guard, literally no joke, even though I have no authority whatsoever, the security guard is like, yeah, maybe this guy can help you, talking about me. And meanwhile, I can do absolutely nothing. I mean, I, I couldn't even buy the guy popcorn, but hey. Uh, so, so yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we talk for a little bit. I go, hey, my name is Jason. He goes, hey, Charlie, nice to meet you. And that was it. That was my Chris Weidman's dad experience. And I was like, all right, one sec. I went backstage, got someone that actually can do something and made that happen. So maybe without me, Chris Weidman wouldn't have beat Anderson Silva. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It might, it might be possible. Uh, yeah, so that, that was absolutely awesome and uh, a really, really fun time. Great fight. If you haven't seen it, that, that whole card was really, really sick. Uh, I was excited to get to go to my second Anderson Silva fight ever. I went to Chael Silva one in Oakland, which was a fantastic experience on its own. I had the best tickets you could buy, the best tickets you could buy at, in Oakland, and they were $1,000. That's very low for a UFC event. Uh, but I'm a big Chelsea Simon fan, so I had to go. 1000 bucks wasn't, wasn't going to stop me. So I flew all the way to Oakland and uh, <laughs> arrive, arrive at the venue in Oakland. I've been to a lot of UFC fights, a lot of events, events before. Never, though, have I been patted down and checked for an ankle holster <laughs> except for in Oakland first row tickets be damned not enough to escape the security groping and ankle check but uh hey that was something and uh <laughs> didn't have to go through that here even though uh I didn't have as good as seats but yeah I'm I'm really psyched for ultimate poker everything coming everything coming from that in the next like year should be so cool so excited to be a part of that and uh, not least of which is to be able to play online poker again and all you have to be is visiting in Nevada some people are thinking they have to be in residence but you don't have to be a resident all you have to be is located within the borders of Nevada to be able to play online so that's pretty awesome the games have been rolling here and uh, during the World Series We've gotten, I've got 25.50 running pretty often. I mean, not pretty often, I guess. 10.20 has been running pretty often. 25.50 uh, every, maybe like once or twice a week. And then uh, a lot, everything going lower than that. So if you're in Nevada, definitely hop on and uh, and play for real money. It's actually pretty sick. You can just like run down to station casinos, deposit. I had to do it and people have to do it. It's pretty awesome. And uh, you can withdraw same day. It's actually like online poker should have always been, you know. But So that's cool to be a part of that. License regulated, all that good stuff. I'm going to raise this here, even though we're not super deep, and I'd be happier if we were deep with a hand like this. I think uh, he still will fold better than 9 high. A good percentage of the time, we're risking 38 to win uh, 52. Sorry, uh, yeah, less than that, 42. Math is a difficult thing. Um, and worst case scenario, if he, if he re-raises, I'm probably just folding, not to 70, though. Uh, if he had re-raised to like 150, I would have just folded. But raising to 70, letting me call is just a perfectly fine thing. I actually have like immediate odds to call, and uh, obviously there are plenty of plenty of times that the turn card is a card that like maybe it's an eight or a nine. I sometimes win. Might be a uh, ten or a seven, and he might check. So I might win even unimproved. 
uh, but certainly going to call when he makes a tiny, tiny re-raise. If he checks now, I'm just going to check back. Betting 80 is probably the end of this hand, given that the 3 is one of the worst cards for me. Uh, just going to muck it here. I don't think there's too much other options. I mean, I could definitely consider doing something tricky, but I think that's that's totally fine. So yeah, living in Las Vegas now, kind of cool. Lots of cool videos coming up for you guys coming in the next few weeks. This, this dream of mine for videos all day, every day will be uh, closer to reality if people harass me about it on Twitter. So <laughs> if you haven't seen a video by like 6 p.m., uh, get to tweeting at Jason Somerville and uh, complain to me that there's no new video yet. So I'm trying. I, the setup is great. I love the setup here. I would give you guys a bit of a tour, but this is not really my final setup. This is just kind of like a temporary setup that I've kind of infested the dinner table with. Uh, is this guy posted? I don't think this is a limp. Uh, and post post jam. Let's see. No, it doesn't say. Uh, I mean, this can definitely be light. I mean, the the limp jam here. I mean, I'm getting a decent price, 1.5 to one. Uh, I mean, I, I'm getting a decent price, and I think that. Um, probably gonna end up calling because I think he can limp jam in pretty wide range. He'd probably just raise if he had anything really decent. Uh, Ace nine definitely makes sense, but there's a little deuce ball spike in it. Um, so yeah, I played that one really well, and we hold there. So uh, so yeah, I'm I'm uh, planning on doing a whole lot of videos and cool stuff for you guys in the next few months. Uh, if you have any requests in terms of like sit and goes or cash, I'm almost never going to play tournaments for videos. Final tables, yeah, that, that definitely is possible. And uh, if you haven't heard, if you're in Nevada and haven't heard yet, they've been running tournaments called uh, the Summer Series, which is awesome. A whole bunch of like pretty decent buy ins, pretty decent guarantees. So if you're a tournament player in Nevada, check those out. Uh, I'm going to re-raise here. Sometimes they're very smaller, but in tournaments I'd re-raise smaller, but I think 36 here is all right. And we're going to have to peel it off here against a guy I've never seen before. Hulkfish618. Can't really fold the jack balls here, even though he has kings. Let's see if the heater can keep going. So, uh, yeah, slightly unlucky there. I mean, he did put all the chips in the pot. It's not like he represented weakness in any way, but... Uh, I don't think we can fold there. Too often he has just tens or ace king or ace queen or who even knows what against a guy I've never seen before. I don't think we can fold. Uh, math, uh, not two sixty. That's for sure. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much that. I might be. Uh, I might start streaming again, which would mean uh, Twitch is the place that's going to be happening. Um, I haven't used it in a while though, so if I do stream, I'll definitely tweet about that. I've started, although I can't believe I gave in finally, after after all my years of being quite against Instagram, I actually have an Instagram account now, but uh, I'm only pretty much planning on posting like really cool pictures there of like behind the scenes stuff and UFC stuff and I'm not planning on posting any pictures of my food anytime soon and you should be glad for that because I eat the most boring food ever. So, uh, I mean, and if you think I'm joking, I'm really not. I eat the same four meals in rotation. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that would not make the best Instagram. But I think I've posted a lot of cool pictures so far. So if you're interested, if you're on Instagram, hop on there. I'm uh, Jay Carver Poker there. Jason Somerville was taken by some bastard. So I'm not Jason Somerville, but, well, not there at least. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Jack seven big blind probably gonna play another orbit or two. I might actually uh, begin my. Uh, I would like to begin my video session here for my post World Series session here at the win, but I don't think that's going to happen because I've lost a uh, hundred, hundred fifty. I've probably lost like five hundred or so this session. Uh, I'm not gonna check fold. I don't really love check calling. I think check raising is not the worst option because I meant to make a 28, but didn't reach far enough on my keyboard. Uh, I think we make mistakes. I think sometimes he. Uh, okay, I'm not even sure what I was going to say, so certainly that was not what I was expecting, though. I'm um, going to just end up check folding. I mean, he could definitely have an 8. 
Uh, okay, he can have 8s sometimes, but I think more often he has 10s than 8s. Uh, Alright, I have no idea what's going on this hand. He might just have me destroyed, and then I don't even know. Have you seen the avatars? Uh, I, ha I don't believe I have. I've I've seen a couple avatars that are like secret avatars in development, but I haven't actually uh, I haven't known what he's talking about. So I decided to be Master Chief because you know, hey, who wouldn't want to be Master Chief if you could be Master Chief? Apparently, none of these people. But I I I <laughs> I, th I thought that was a slam dunk. I didn't think that was even close. Uh, so the angry football over here is taking forever. Maybe it's a happy football? I mean, I don't think so. Those look some like pretty angry eyes he's got over there. Gonna defend the cold queen nine suit in the small blind because hey, why not? Probably gonna be doing something here besides check folding. Probably check calling, but maybe check raising. I feel like uh, check raising, getting it in can't be that bad. We have back to flush draw, overcard, gut shot, and he folds a decent amount of time. So let's try this again. This whole check raise thing. Check raise, not fold. Saw that they approved the version 2.0 for review. Oh. Yeah, I actually, this guy, this guy uh, does make some decent point here, and or bring up a decent thing here, which is that uh, brings up a decent thing. Yeah, whatever that means. Uh, that you know, when when other sites get new versions of the software, they just hit like update, it just updates. But Ultimate Poker, because we're controlled by or regulated by the Nevada Gaming Control Board, when we have new software updates, it you know has to go into some sort of lab and approval process, and it takes a long time to uh, actually get that up and going. So I have actually seen the, the the test software of like the next version, and maybe even like the version after that I've seen, and uh, it's it's awesome. Like it's a big a big improvement on this software, which isn't bad. It's just obviously got a lot of work to be done to like smooth it out and improve it. And I really think that they're making a, a big a big jump in the next few versions. So the the next that next version should be out soon. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll play another orbit or so, and then uh, make sure you guys tweet, comment, all that good stuff. Um, there should be a couple more live videos coming out from uh, from the summer here. We've shot a couple that are that are in the can, being edited, worked on. So those will be coming. So stay tuned for those. You know the the whole bracelet hunting concept that I had for the summer was never really like a big crazy crazy video idea. It was like, hey, I have an RV with Dan O'Brien and Jason Mercier. Let's do videos. And uh, it wasn't like a thing that I was planning. On. I was never planning on like trying to cover the World Series of Poker with that series, just because like the reg the restrictions of the of the World Series. Look at that. Speaking of which, summer series right there. Um, you know, speaking, uh, uh, you know, it's very hard to cover things at the at the Rio because of the regulations and stuff. Uh, just just generally speaking, it's hard. You can only have like five minutes a day on the floor to shoot video, which is very hard to make videos off of that. If uh, <laughs> if you're trying to make videos with five minutes a day. Um, so I just kind of want to do like fun, cool stories as they happened. And oh, Dandy Randy shows up. Maybe we'll have to extend the video a little bit. Um, but you know, the, uh, the, the bracelet hunting videos were kind of cool. Just like a fun thing I thought I would do. I really like the crew that I used for these. So I will be probably using them, uh, them again. So if you liked the, the production values of the show, I think there'll be some really cool videos like that coming in the future. And it's especially, they'll, they'll even be, they'll be way better. Not that I think they're bad, but I'm saying they'll even be way better just because of the fact that without the, the World Series and all of the stuff that comes with that, all the horses that need money, all, all that stuff that, that takes up a big percentage of my time, when we can just do things like make cool, sweet videos, the videos will be even better. How could they be better? I know, some of you are saying that. <laughs> I don't think anybody is saying that. But uh, yeah, I guess I need to get a stationary chair because I can't help myself from like s swiveling in this. But yeah, so don't think there are too many hands that people have questions on. But of course, if you have questions, fire those away as well about actually hands, stuff like that. That'll probably be more common in uh, the Run It Up videos when we're actually just playing in every session that I play for the Run It Up bankroll. I will record just like eating cake. 
where there were plenty of those eating cake videos that I wasn't happy about because I wasn't really thrilled with how, how I played, but uh, yet up they go on the internet for people to see and be mad at. So, <laughs> no, actually, no one was really... I never got too much shit for hands that I played uh, in eating cake, but... It's funny to go back and watch some of them now because I'm just like, oh my god. And not even necessarily from a play style, although there's plenty of that. I go back and just shake my head at what a bad, like, you know, caster I was back then. It just was, like, very sometimes flat and just not entertaining. And, you know, I think it's a little better now. No, I'm mildly entertaining, you know? And there's a webcam, which is always, always much better. You, you couldn't see me swiveling without that. So that's an advantage. Uh, so... I think we're going to have one more hand here, even with uh, the old dandy randy here. I'm not going to not gonna spend too much time. This video has went long enough. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, I'm on Twitter, at Jason Somerville. If you want to get in touch with me and talk about absolutely anything you liked, hated, loved, whatever, that's the place to get in touch with me, at Jason Somerville on Twitter. And uh, make sure you check out my new site, jasonsomerville.com. For everything else that I'm doing with my life, everything goes, everything ultimately goes on there. Oh, one bonus hand, but doesn't even make a difference. So, all right, so that's it for me. Lost about 500 bucks a session, but hey, what can you do? Don't think I can do too much. We lost Jax versus him, and we won the Ace Deuce versus Ace Nine, which was lucky on our part. So we should have actually lost more. So anyway, that's it for me. I will see you guys soon. Peace.